Okay, my informative speech is how to make chocolate chip cookies. Okay, remember going to your grandma's house and you always wanted to bake chocolate chip cookies with her. And, and of course, when you were baking them, she, well, she was looking away, you would always take a taste of the batter, even though you knew you weren't supposed to. And when she caught you, which she always did, she would give you a very disapproving look. My childhood was basically the same thing. And this recipe is actually the, the recipe that my grandma and I would make. And this is actually a, a picture of me and four of my cousins and my sister, circa 1995. That's me right there. The, the, and this is all the ingredients, very nice and Food Network style. Okay, the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 325. This is basically the first thing you should really do, because if you don't preheat your oven and you do everything that you're supposed to do, it'll just take a whole lot longer. Okay, in a, in a bowl, combine the, combine the half cup of oats, which is in the mixer right there, in the blender thing, and uh, two and a fourth cup of flour. I don't know why there's a fourth, it's just what you need. A teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. Combine and set aside. Now for the wet ingredients. In a, in a beater, a hand mixer, or if, you're, if, if you want to do it by hand, go ahead. You c combine two sticks of butter, which equals a cup, a cup of brown sugar, and a cup of granulated white sugar. Mix until creamy. And now add two large eggs, which you can see me doing right there. And then pour in a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, beat until combined. Random fact, vanilla is actually the seed pod of an orchid. There's about 110 species of orchids in the family Orch Orchididae. And this evergreen genus occurs worldwide in the tropic regions and subtropic regions, from tropical America to tropical Asia and New Guinea and West Africa. The name comes from the Spanish word vanille, or I don't know if I'm saying that right, so forgive me. And, 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 from the and the diminutive form of it is vina, which means sheep. Okay, back to the recipe. Now add the flour in one, two, and three parts, and mix just until combined. Otherwise, your batter will be tough and won't be very fun to eat. And now, now it's time to put in the 16 ounce bag of chocolate chips and about a half bag of toffee bits. And there's always slightly less chocolate chips because I love chocolate. <laughs> and with a spatula, combine the four, four ounce or half cup of the English toffee <coughs> candy and the chocolate chips. Random fact again, coca, coca beans are actually the dried fermented fatty seeds of the thre Theobroma co coca, which fo forms the cocoa solids and cocoa butter. And cocoa butter is what makes white chocolate, so it's technically really not chocolate. It may have originated in the foothills of the Andes and the Amazon, or the, or, or, or I, I've had trouble with this word this entire time, so forgive me. Or Kin Basin in South America, and current day Venezuela, where today they can, where it can still be seen grown. Um, the first cultivations were the Olmecs, and it was used by, by them as currency. And the largest producers worldwide are the Ivory Coast, the Republic of Ghana, the Republic of Indonesia, the Republic of the Cameroons, not the Cameroons, yeah, the Cameroons, the, F the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Federative Repub Republic of Brazil, Republic of Ecuador, and Malaysia. And I prefer to stir the chocolate chips and the toffee bits in with a spatula because it ensures that you won't overmix the cookies. And now put them on and with a small ice cream scoop, which I don't have pictured here, which I really should have. Place them on a line on a sheet pan lined with parchment paper or silicon baking sheets. We're using a silicon baking sheet right here, and have them about an inch apart. That's more than an inch. And place the cookies in the oven for 15 minutes. But this really depends on the oven, because our oven at home basically annihilates food, so you always have to put it for less time. And then that's them in the oven cooking. And voila. When they're done, let them rest on the sheet pan for about five minutes. And they, and they won't be cool, so resist the urge to touch them. 
and transfer them to a cooling, cooling rack and also resist the urge to shove them all in your face at once. <laughs> and now it's time to eat. And I actually, oh, haha. -ha. Baking, in conclusion, baking is fun and you, it actually is very relaxing. And if you're a guy that knows how to cook, girls will love that. <laughs> and being able to cook from scratch is actually a lot cheaper and a lot healthier than going out all the time. Also, it gives you the freedom to make things that you like, the way that you like them, and when you would like them. Thank you. And I have cookies for everyone.